Hello there and welcome to lower 6 maths A level practice paper 8 and here we're working on question 8. So we have uh, two vectors, uh, point position for A is 4i minus uh, plus 7j and B has a position vector 10i plus q. Uh, find the vector from A to B in terms of q. Okay, so finding vectors from one position to another is really easy. All you have to do is the, if we're working from A to B, you work out position B and then take away position A. That's the little trick to this question here. So this is going to be 10Q take away 4, 7. So this here is going to be 6I um, plus Q minus 7J. Just like that. Okay, so... Uh, I've ch switched interchangeably from the column notation to the i and j notation. It's given me my question in i's and j's, so I'd probably better write my answer in terms of i's and j's. But this is how you do the question. It's coordinate b, take away coordinate a if you want to go from a to b. Uh, part b, given further that the modulus from a to b is 2 root uh, 13. Find the two possible values of e, uh, q showing reasoning in your working. Okay, so... Let's just um, see what we've got here. So we've got 4, 7, the coordinate 4, 7, and the coordinate 10, Q. And the distance between these two coordinates here is going to be 2 root 13. So Q can either be down here, or Q could be potentially up here as well. So that's why there are two values for Q. Um, it, will have just, it will give coordinate B just a different height. Um, but the distance from coordinate A will always be <coughs> 2 root 13. Okay, so remember the way that we work out distances is we use the Pythagoras theorem of the x coordinate squared add the y coordinate squared square rooted. So that's what we're going to do here. So A to B modded using what we found from above. To get from A to B, you need to do 6 squared and then add Q minus 7 squared. And this will equal 2 root 13. Okay, so let's square both sides now. We're going to get 36 add q minus 7 squared equal 4 times 13. Uh, 4 lots of 13 is 52. Um, so it'd be 36 plus q minus 7 squared. Uh, take away 36 from that, and you get 16. Okay, so some number squared will give me a 16. So q minus 7 will either equal positive 4 or negative 4. Okay, please remember that when you're square rooting an expression that looks like this, where you have, say, x squared equals 9, your answers are always going to be plus or minus 3. Okay, or in this case here, 16 square rooted will be plus or minus 4. Okay, so now we've got to do add 7 onto that. So let's take the q minus 7 equals 4. So q is therefore going to equal 11. Or q minus 7 could equal minus 4, in which case if we add on 7 here, we're going to get 3. So the answer here is either q equals 11 or q equals 3. Great. Uh, 7 marks for that one.